Hello, I'm Curtis. Welcome to Allen Family Farms. So I've been getting a lot of, a lot of work done off camera here. Um, I've been working on everything in the office. Uh, a lot of sanding prep work in order for uh, the texture to go on. So I'm getting ready to shoot the texture now. I've got everything taped up that I'm going to tape up. And I'm getting at it. So join along. Air compressor's not running, I'm gonna go check on that. All right, got that fixed. Just a minor technical difficulty. I guess my compressor, the circuit didn't want to carry my compressor and the fan and all that other stuff, so. Whatever, got it fixed, just don't have a fan now. Time to get a refill. That's gonna happen over and over and over again. So I'll save y'all from that and I'll get back with you when I'm about done. Thank you. All right, I'm back. <clears throat> yeah, it just took a couple seconds, right? Haha, <laughs> no, nah, just less than an hour. Really not too bad. So I'm done. Um, I don't think you can see too much in here, but uh, you know, it's textured, trust me. Um, and there's your guard dog. Hopefully she doesn't touch the walls. Go, man. Um, but, you know, it's really hard to see this stuff. Really, out. Out, honey. Good girl. Um, stay. But, uh, you can kind of see it better with this contrasting back. Yeah. Anyway, you know, that's it. And uh, I think it looks pretty good. I really love how the corners, I don't know if it's going to show up here. Let me try this side. Um, if it shows up. But I love how it goes around with those corners right there. Stay in the way. Um, I don't know if you can see it here. They're in different degrees of uh, drying right there. But I don't know. I just love the rounded corner. I think it looks pretty good. This has been a lot, a lot, a lot of work to get to this point here. Um, just with the sheetrock part itself. You know, I did lots and lots of sanding and lots and lots of sanding and lots and lots of sanding and more mud and all that kind of stuff. But she's just gonna try her luck <clears throat> and she gets away with it. But um, yeah, that's it. I'm, I'm happy with the way it looks. Of course, we'll be able to tell when the paint gets on it how it looks for sure but man it's drying up already so the next step is i'm gonna go run to the store and get some paint and come back and paint this thing and i hope to have it my goal is to have the paint done tonight 
it's only two o'clock. So this afternoon, this evening, I want the paint done tonight. And then hopefully tomorrow I can start putting up some of the cabinets. Um, I'll have help by then. Um, so I'm hoping we can start to um, maybe get up a couple, if, if not all the uppers, it would be nice to, to have those up. So um, we'll see how that goes. And uh, I also wanna get the south fence done tomorrow. So uh, big goals. But anyway, we'll see what happens. Um, I have the chickens out here too and they're doing really good. I have not secured their permanent water or food. Uh, I've just been feeding them every day, kind of seeing how they like the food and such, because I switched it coming up here. But um, we'll see. I may get a higher protein for them. I have the Cornish, Cro Cornish Cross and the, uh, the Rhode Island Red all together in the same pen, because I'm still building the coop. Um, I'll show that on another video. And, um, um, so that's why I kind of went with a lesser protein food. Um, but anyway, I got to get a higher protein for the Cornish Cross, Cornish Cross and uh, we'll go from there. A little bit of sorting out to do, but no problem. All right, well, that's it for right now until I get the paint, then I'll get back with y'all. Thanks. All right, so I did not get to finish filming um, the last couple days. But um, I did get the paint done as, as expected. Um, I uh, got the paint all done all around. Um, I'm really happy with how my corners came out. I think they came out pretty good. Um, <clears throat> here's my bedroom. I think it looks pretty decent. Again, the corners, when I peel the tape off, there's this stuff here, but that's it's just that I gotta clean up the windowsill and such, the edging. But uh, I think the corners came out really good. Especially from how they started. I don't know if they'd ever get cleared. Um, yeah, the bathroom. Got all done. I gotta still do all that work, but that's okay. Um, and the cabinets started doing the cabinets, started putting them in. Um, they got some markings up there. Uh, the uppers I have, that's a 36 inch right there, but the other ones I got were 30 inch, so I don't know what happened. I'll blame it on myself. I, I must have ordered them wrong, so I will, I'm getting that fixed. But, uh, so the fridge will go right here, right there, and then the stove will be right there, and then another small cabinet there. I'm going to have an upper that goes here, and an upper that goes here, and another upper above the fridge and an upper above the stove and then a microwave. So I think it's coming together amazingly well. I'm very happy with how it's going. Um, the rest of my time I have spent, uh... all right, so the rest of my time while I was here, I didn't get any video, and... sorry, um, or I didn't get any content. So sorry, I was just kind of on the roll, just, just going, but I had some help up here. I got uh, the south side, Almost, I just, I got all the fabric in the ground and I, uh, excuse me, I got all the poles set. We used my, uh, my compact track loader to just push them right in the ground. So for the most part, they went good. Um, then I got the H post put in. Um, so that whole side over there, saw side, south side is ready for fabric. Um, and then on the west, excuse me, the east side fence that I've been working on before, that there was some content. There's video on that before. Uh, I finally got all the clips done on that. I still had about another quarter of it to do. So, um, but that's it for today. That's our this. That's it for this trip. So uh, I'm gonna head on out of here. Had a lot. Uh, got the chickens settled. Um, got automatic feeders, automatic waterers, um, timed so that they don't overeat themselves or overfeed themselves, and. Uh, I got a camera set up on them, so hopefully they'll do good and uh, have electric uh, poultry netting around them as well. So, and uh, that's about it. I appreciate y'all watching and stay tuned for more. Thanks a lot, bye.